Meet Jenny Welch. Jenny is a human resources supervisor in the Hagerstown, Maryland office. Jenny loves to decorate Christmas trees. She is a part of many different organizations with which she helps decorate, including St. Jude Church, Suburban Hospital, Washington County Hospital, D.M. Bowman, American Legion, Elks, Kaplan University, St. Paul's Church, and St. Anne Church. Jenny has been decorating Christmas trees for over 30 years. She started when she was in her early 20s. One day, she saw these beautiful handmade Victorian velveteen teddy bears in burgundy and cream in a gift shop, and she was so taken aback by them, but they looked too sophisticated for her Christmas tree. She decided to create a new tree with colors of burgundy, rose, cream, and gold, and decorate it in a Victorian style with those bears as her inspiration. This tree has been a work in progress, and it has changed for over 30 years. It takes her the longest to decorate and has over 450 ornaments on it. Wow! Talk about dedication. Jenny had training on how to make exquisite bows from a high-end gift shop in Potomac, Maryland when she was in her early 20s. With all the trees she has done for different places, they always start with Offre ribbon. She says she can do so much with ribbon as it makes the trees look so nice, but keeps her budget under control. This year, she is working on 10 different trees, including two for other locations, one for Hagerstown and seven in her home. Wow. That's incredible. Good luck, Jenny. Meet Raymond Ang. Raymond is a buyer in the Hong Kong office. Raymond's hobbies are photography and military reenactments. He became interested in military reenactments because he watched a lot of war films when he was younger and he really liked them. According to Wikipedia, historical reenactments first became popular in 17th century England and became more widespread in the 19th century. Raymond's favorite reenactments to participate in is World War II. How cool is that? Raymond became interested in photography because he says photos can capture and hold the history of an event in a single image. Raymond did not take up any classes to learn photography, and he always uses a Sony camera. Keep up the super cool work, Raymond. Great job. Meet Dwayne Farver. Dwayne is an associate category advisor located in the Berwick, Pennsylvania office. Dwayne is also a podcast writer, actor, and producer in his spare time. He is the creator, writer, director, and sound designer of Manifestations, which is a podcast of the Ostium Network. It is a solo narrator, serial, sci-fi, solar punk audio drama about the main character, Alan, who finds himself out of place and out of time. Dwayne started as a fan and supporter of a show about an abandoned town, where each door you go through takes you to a different place in time. The creator was writing a story for each supporter going through their own door. He also encouraged viewers to write their own story. Dwayne says he thought about the abandoned town near Berwick called Centralia, and on a flight back home from a work trip, he wrote a story about a person from 2019 visiting Centralia on the day the mine fire started. He left the story open-ended, and people kept asking him, what happens next? Those questions led to a larger story, and eventually recording it as a serialized podcast. Duane has been doing this for only one year and has not had any formal training on it, just hands-on training with the help of YouTube videos and tutorials from contacts in the industry. He is involved in all aspects of the show. He writes the story but has two beta readers who help give him a fresh perspective on the story. To save on budget, he is also the voice actor of the lead character. Duane also cleans up all the recorded dialogue and pieces it all together to sound natural and flow. Duane says the music in his podcast takes almost as long as the writing and recording. He does not play any instruments, so he took to the internet and was very grateful to find some generous musicians from as far away as Germany and Australia to help him. Duane also manages the social media feeds and has attended industry conventions in Seattle and Boston. Wow, that's so incredible. Great job, Duane. We are always looking for CSS employees with interesting hobbies and talents. Please contact Jessica Cervantes at jessica.cervantes at cssindustries.com.